Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. On the national news this hour from BGI Television, post the headlines. You will soon enjoy benefits of top decisions to Numbu assures Nigerians. Don't rubbish government institutions with political sentiments, coalitions warns. If Tinumbu was not elected president, CBN governor wouldn't be there, Ali Undume. FG to sell five power plants for one billion US dollars. Aida dissolves cabinets. And on sports, AFCON ended the delighted with Super Eagles group stage performance and qualification for the round of 16. I am Moroviri Rabila Lawal, the news in detail. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has promised that Nigerians will soon enjoy the benefit of the top decision but yet necessary decisions of his administration. The president made the promise on Tuesday at the State House during a meeting with the South-South Monarchs Forum, led by His Royal Majesty Major General Felix Maju Peru, retired chairman of the Delta State Council of Traditional Rulers and vice chairman of the South-South Monarchs Forum. He commended the monarchs for their understanding approach to his administration's ongoing economic reforms, particularly the removal of fuel subsidy. President Bola Tinubu assured the traditional rulers in the South-South geopolitical zone that his administration was committed to addressing their concerns over development and environmental degradation. The president told the royal fathers that his administration was working both domestically and internationally to strengthen Nigeria's durability and approach to climate change, environmental restoration, infrastructure development, all while ensuring security and stability in the region. Moving on to the next story. Civil society organization on the ages of Coalition for Good Governance and Open Leadership in Nigeria on Tuesday said it is a support of any thorough proof of wrongdoing against governmental agencies, including the Nigerian National Petroleum Agents, Corporation Limited, Central Bank of Nigeria, among others, but warned against politi politicization of the allegations. The group stated that politicization of allegations against the organizations to serve the ulterior motives would undermine the stability and progress of those institutions by extension, the nation. The coalition stated this at the press conference held at the airport's hotel, the Ikejal. Spokesperson of the coalition, Comrade Declan Ihehire, expressed concern about the misuse of activism by some individuals for personal gain, saying the majority of those galvanizing as right groups were taking undue advantage of freedom of expression to blackmail essential Nigerian state agencies. Ihehire stated that the organization's commitment to transparency in governance was unwavering. Speaking in the company of comrades, Benga Soloji Shino, Doremikos, Rosai Koladosu, among other members of the coalition, Ehere stated that the commitment of the group to, is to democracy and to advance good governance for better serve the delivery to the interest of the masses. Moving on to the next story. The chief whip of the Senate, Senator Ali Undume, has reportedly cautioned President Bola Tinubu of possible political fallout if the CBN reverses its decision to move important departments from the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, to Lagos State. This information is reported, but no South representative Undume made a statement on Tuesday during a broadcast on a television. Last week, an internal memo revealed the CBN's directive to move certain units to Lagos, aiming to alleviate congestion at the Abuja headquarters. This decision stirred controversy, especially among northern Nigerians who opposed the move, alleging it as a plan to further underdevelop the north. Sharing his perspective on Dume criticized the decision, deeming it poorly considered. He expressed confidence that President Bola Tinumbu would reverse the directive, but issued a warning stating, and if that does not happen, of course, this is democracy, we know what to do. 
questioning the decision-making process in Dume raised concerns about the omission of considering relocation to states like Nasara, Kogi, or Kaduna, which are in close proximity to the nation's capital. And to the next story. The federal government, through the Bureau of Public Enterprises, is currently carrying out transactions for the sale of five power plants under the National Integrated Power Project. At a cost of about 1.15 billion US dollar, it was gathered t Tuesday. Although sources familiar with the development explained that the cost of the plant should exceed 5 billion US dollar based on international benchmark, they revealed that the BP PE was planning to sell the facilities at a price that is little above 1.1 billion US dollar. The acting director general, BPE Ignatius Ayewo, confirmed to correspondent in the telephone brief conversation that the transaction is ongoing, adding that it is not concluded. The BPE boss did not disclose the cost for the five plant as they quickly stated that he was in a meeting and would not be able to give additional details. And to the next story from Ondo State. The governor of Ondo State, Loki Aida Tewa, has resolved the State Executive Council. The governor also relieved all senior special assistant and special assistant of their duties. In a statement by his chief press secretary, Ebenezer Adenio, on Wednesday, the governor said the development would take immediate effect. The statement read, all members of the cabinet are to immediately hand over to the permanent secretaries or the most senior administrative officers in their respective offices. All the affected officials are directed to hand over all government properties in their possession. The governor thanks the affected officials for their services and contributions to the development of the states. You are watching the national news from BGI TV. Next to come. A mechanic identified as Anayo Ugo has been sentenced to seven years imprisonment without an option of fine by a magistrate court sitting in Port Harcourt, River State, for making an act in impregnating a girl. Information report that a convict who is a generator mechanic and in 2021 visited the home of the, all, the girl in Oyubo, Oyubo local government area of the state to carry out repairs on their power generator at the instance of the victim's father. However, he ended up doing the act with the girl, an action which also put her in the family way. He then threatened to kill the girl if she told anyone about the incident and reportedly fled. However, a month later, when the girl's mother started noticing changes in the daughter, she confronted her and she opened up. The matter was reported to the police, who began hunting for the suspect. Although Ugo, uh, during the trial, admitted having the act with the girl, he denied doing the act, saying it was a letter that held him when he went to repair their generator and drag them inside our room before the deed was done. The trial chief magistrate, Rita Ogugua, in her judgment, said the prosecution was able to prove their case of acts and having the knowledge of the girl uh, through evidence and admission by Ugo, who is in his early 50s. Ogugu thereafter convicted and sentenced Ugo to seven years imprisonment without an option of fine. Finally, sports. Wilfred Indidi, who missed out from the campaign and party at the Abidjan for the upcoming ongoing has uh, been trailed with the Super Eagles progress into the round of 16 and at the 23 Africa Cup of Nations. The three-time champions booked their passage into the knockout round of competition after a hard fought one victory over the Jutras of Guinea-Bissau. On Monday, the Super Eagles will confront a title rival, the Indomitable Lions of Cameroon, in the round of 16. In the NDV, who was replaced in Nigeria's squad for Africa 2023 by Al Asin Yusuf, after sustaining an injury while in action for his club side, Leicester City. It was really bad for me not to be there, but I'm so happy for the team because even from last year, this is what we have been planning to go for at the AFCON in Abidjan. I just try as much as possible to get the final. We plan to win games which gets you to the next stage. In the day, praise the Super Eagles team at Abidjan. With our sports story, we've come to the end of today's national news. Before we go, some major headlines. 
You will soon enjoy the benefit of tough decisions, Tinubu assures Nigerians. Don't rubbish government's institutions with political sentiments, coalition warns. If Tinubu was not elected president, CB and governor wouldn't be there. FG to sell five power plant for one billion US dollars. We also brought to you mechanic back seven years jail time for impregnating a girl. On sport, Indy delighted with Super Eagles group stage performance for updates of our broadcast on the YouTube or and the ease of our regular email television. Can you subscribe and click on the notification bell? Select option all to access all of our broadcasts. On Facebook, regular email with Alari Adibayo. Please like and follow the page. Thank you for watching. I am Moro Vivre Rabila Lawa. Good afternoon. Audio Jump. Audio Jump.